Here I've got a fairly simple but nice geometry problem that comes from the 2019 Iranian Geometry Olympiad. So let's look at the setup. So we've got rectangles situated as follows. So all of these sides are parallel, and similarly all of these sides are parallel. And then the midpoint here and the midpoint here define a line which intersects this edge over here. And then we're given the, that these two areas of these rectangles are equal. And our goal is to show that this is also the midpoint. So in other words, the midpoints of these three edges, the vertical edges of these rectangles, are collinear. Okay, so let's see maybe how we can do this. I'm going to do it by putting everything in a coordinate system, although I think you can most definitely do this without coordinates. So I'm going to say that this over here is the origin, so I'll call this point 0, 0. I'll extend out my x-axis in this direction, and I'll extend out my y-axis in this direction. So I'm going to say this point right here is a, comma, 0. So that makes this side length equal to a. I'm going to say this point up here is equal to 0, comma, b. So that makes this side length b. And furthermore, it makes this midpoint right here really easy to calculate. That's just 0, b over 2. Okay. Then I'm going to say that this is a c by d rectangle. So that makes this point over here equal to a plus c comma 0, which means up here at the corner it's a plus c comma b. And then way up here, it's A plus C, B plus D. Because it's the two widths and the two heights. Okay, so furthermore, just to fill in the details, this point right here is A comma B. This point right here will be A comma B plus D. So again, this means that here we have side length C and side length D. And notice that we're given, this equal area given, means that AB equals CD. So I'll put that in the same color so that we can see that it's coming from the same point. Okay, we've already calculated this midpoint, 0B over 2. Now let's calculate this midpoint. So notice it has X coordinate A, so I've got A. And then the Y coordinate will be half of B plus D. So that's B plus D over 2. Now what we'll do is calculate the line going through these two points and find the intersection with this vertical line. So let's maybe write that out over here. So we want to find the line through our point 0, B over 2 and A, B plus D over 2. So that means we need the slope. We already have the y-intercept. So notice our slope. Well, that'll be change of y over change of x. So we need to subtract these two numbers. Notice subtracting these two numbers will give us d over 2. And then dividing by this number will give us d over 2a. OK, so that means our equation is given by y equals d over 2a times x plus the y-intercept, which is b over 2, just by our construction over here where we put the y-axis. OK, so now we need to evaluate this at x equals a plus c, and that'll give us the y-coordinate of this intersection point. So let's do that. So let's say here we're setting x equal to a plus c, and we need to see what happens. So let's notice we haven't used this equality of area yet, so we're probably going to use that along the calculation. Okay, so if we evaluate at x equals a plus c, we'll get y equals d over 2a times a plus c plus b over 2. Now let's simplify that. That gives us AD over 2A plus CD over 2A plus B over 2. But now we can do some simplification. Notice here the A cancels with the A, so that's pretty clear. And then here we can use this equality of area to replace CD with AB 
Now again, the A will can cancel with the A. And we have D over two plus B over two plus B over two. So that's gonna give us B plus D over two. But that means this coordinate right here is A plus C comma B plus D over two. But notice that's definitely the midpoint of this edge because we need to go all the way from here up to B and then half the distance from B to B plus D, but that's exactly gonna be this coordinate. And that's a good place to stop.